Welcome back to Warriors Post Game Live, presented by Toyota. As we take a look at the numbers from tonight's matchup, the assist numbers were impressive. Both teams mm -hmm. 29 assists, but the difference here is you see the bench points doubled up tonight. Indiana on Tuesday night, they scored 31 to the Warriors 21. So the bench has to pick it up again, even with Pascal back in the lineup. But it's the turnovers, Jennifer mm -hmm. and Darrell. The turnovers, 19 turnovers, all the missed layups, the miscommunication. That's an awful, awful night and sloppiness here on a Thursday night against the tough Nuggets team who are going to be one of these teams in the Western Conference that will be in the playoffs. We'll break this down here. It's just lackadaisical uh, moments here for the mm -hmm. Golden State Warriors. Yeah, Bonte, you said it. You know, the 19 turnovers is tough. And uh, it's kind of hard to beat any team, you know, turning the ball over, especially if you're not shooting the ball well on the other end at a high clip. Mm -hmm. So when you turn the ball over 19 times and different body, you see the body language on guys, you know, careless passes right, right here. Uh, you see, like we said, body language. Andrew Wiggins has to get open. You know, you got Wiseman right there. He takes his eye off the ball, and this created an easy layup for Boa Boa. You know, three on one fast break, and, you know, they, they finished. And just, I think that the team felt very disconnected. I mean, that's just a, a telegraph pass right in the wrong place. And again, leads to an easy layup. So the turnovers lead to scores. Yep, and here, great rebound by Bays. You know, he's a good ball handler. I think he could bring it up on that one. Uh, Jokic being a great defender. Well, not a great, not a great defender, but right. you know, he, having some type right of awareness. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Having some type of awareness and, you know, he put his hand in the passing lane. He creates a matchup. Now you got, you got to go double. And I think Dozier made a great cut and finished uh, with a bunch of Warriors around him. Well, it just shows how connected Denver was and how disconnected I think the Warriors were. Yeah, it's, just, it's awful. I mean, you think about the way they've been playing defense, mm -hmm. especially the end of that homestand starting Friday night against the Clippers, the comeback from that 22-point deficit. Good defense against Toronto mm -hmm. for the most part. In Indiana, they only scored 105. Tonight, just a let down night. You're going to have those nights in the NBA, but they got to clean up the turnovers like you both said here. Let's hear from the captain of the Golden State Warriors, two-time MVP, three-time champ, Steph Curry, who had a nice game, but also had seven turnovers. Here was Steph had to say about this loss. Steph, Steve said the team was disengaged on defense tonight. How do you guys want to take that critique? We got to be better. Um, it doesn't really matter what the adjective is. We got to be better. Um, <clears throat> we started off okay i guess but you know they didn't really feel us in the first quarter and a team like denver with threats all over the court if you're not taking away some of the actions and they're getting good looks early just builds their confidence and we understand that um especially from three and that's what kind of opened up the game early and then we were chasing you know the rest of the way and couldn't put enough stops together um, and turn the ball over too much to get back in it. So uh, on the road against a good team, if we want to you know, beat a team like that, you got to start off the game with a little bit more energy and uh, aggressiveness on defense. Uh, Steph, Steve has talked about um, sticking with your current starting lineup because it kind of gives you guys the, the highest defensive ceiling. Uh, what do you think about that five-man unit? We've had some good days, some bad days. And, uh, you know, 12 games in, we got to understand what we can do better, especially offensively, just getting a little bit more flow and then living up to that expectation of what we're supposed to do defensively. And that just is consistent energy. And it's um, night to night. It's, it's hard with a new group when, you know, you're playing really talented teams, you have to be locked in and we understand that. So starting unit, uh, just be real with ourselves on what we need to do better. Um, you're not getting our feelings about uh, when we don't play well. Steph, as far as the offense goes with that unit, guys have continued to come up and say the last couple of weeks that they need to be better for you. They need to learn uh, your spacing and, and how you operate. What do you think you need to do better to help these guys feel more comfortable on the floor with you? And just keep being aggressive and being smart with the basketball. Um, there's a couple of times a night, uh, like, for instance, where, um, you know, you start to rush a little bit and that aggressiveness turns into getting yourself in trouble and a couple of, un, you know, untimely turnovers in that situation. But, you know, uh, I think offensively tonight, I got going just creating my own shot and then, um, we didn't get to that next level where, you know, when I'm off the ball, moving it, 
we we have good flow and, and things kind of got a little stagnant pretty quick in that first quarter. So um, me personally, I have to continue to be smart, continue to be aggressive, but also aware of how to get other guys involved. And again, it's not every time we lose and have a bad night, there's no panic. It's just understanding we're 12 games into a new a new lineup and a new look and uh some nights it's gonna look really 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 great some nights it might look really bad um just kind of comes with the, the territory steph you mentioned uh, the turnovers tonight 19 of them for the team seven for you in particular uh, how do you clean up some of those uh, miscues uh steve mentioned some of the interior passing gave him some concern tonight so how, how do you kind of clean some of that stuff up I think three of mine were just god awful in terms of you know that launch pass to Kelly. He wasn't even looking at me. I I threw it. Uh, I tried to dribble through seven guys and got it got it stolen. And then the offensive pass, uh, offensive foul, and I pushed off. So like three of them right there are just ones that I can eliminate immediately. But as a team, I think we just have to really commit to making the easy pass, um, and that comes with flow of, of moving, you know, moving our bodies in the right timing so that the open pass actually, you know, shows itself. Um, I think early, like I said, we got stagnant a little bit on offense and that's where you start to try to do too much and drive in the crowds and you don't have your right spacing and there is no kind of clear look of who to throw it to. So that's where we get in trouble when we're not uh, executing right. Uh, Steve said he wanted to try out tonight playing you with Brad for a couple of times. How do you think it worked out? This is a great look. Just to get me off the ball with another ball handler. And obviously he's he's very savvy and um, can create and make the right pass. So I'm sure we'll get more more looks at that for, uh, you know, next couple of games. But, you know, anytime I can put pressure on defenses coming off screens and moving out the ball and you have, you know, capable ball handlers out there, it, 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 it helps.